shortly after this happened, the USDA, um, you know, they, they call it um, the People's Agency. People's Agency um, called said, nobody buys salad. Two thirds of all high school lunchrooms have salad bars. Nobody buys it. What do we do? Do we subsidize it or do we add more stuff to it? Like those little, uh, little bitty miniature corns, you know? Like the Malibu Barbie corn, I think is what it's. <laughs> Well, let's, let's, take, let's take a look at the lunchroom. Here's, people come in the upper door right there. There's an a la carte line. There's hot lunch lines. There's uh, a couple of cash registers. There's a salad bar that's like, it's like, it's like a compost heap with wheels under it. <laughs> and you know, you can make salad free and people aren't going to take any. So what we said is, well, let's move it 10 feet. Just do this. Well, here's what you find if you move a salad bar is that little Timmy, who's bought pizza for each of the last 150 school days, <laughs> walks up with his pizza and he bumps in the salad bar. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, a, like an alternative reality or something like this. <laughs> it's a Sims game or something. So he, he, he commits one direction or the other to go around the salad bar. And he does the same darn thing for the next 13 days, or the next nine days. But what we find is that on the 10th or 11th day, all of a sudden, little, uh, little uh, Timmy's picking up that Malibu barbie corn or something. So to the point that salad, daily salad sales increased 200 to 300% within two weeks of us moving the silly salad bar. We didn't have to drop the price. We didn't have to bribe kids. We didn't have to have them do some, you know, module in school talking about the benefits of salads. <laughs> we, we didn't. We didn't have to buy that. The school. You know, we didn't have to buy the school a combine to have a school garden. Okay. <laughs> Easy solutions. 